this segment study is uh, to see that uh, how uterus appears through ascitic fluid. This is the postmenopausal uterus in which this is all fluid anterior and posterior to it. This is the urinary bladder. This is the urinary bladder. And this is the ascitic fluid. This is the ascitic fluid as I have moved, moved uh, pro, uh, bodily. I see this from normal straight suprapubic location to cordially angled probe. Now this is a cordially angled probe where we see urinary bladder and pure anterior to it and this is cephalic, a bit cephalic location and we are seeing a globular structure with two thick thread-like areas now this area is the uterus in transfer section okay. so this is the uterus and you see the densities ecogenic areas and these densities are consistent with the postmenopausal uterus. Whereas now the all this is not urinary bladder, neither this is the urinary bladder. But all the black areas that you are seeing anterior and posterior to this uterus in transfer section, this is all fluid surrounding the uterus in transfer section. Now these thick thread like these thick band like areas and this thick band like area, this thick band like area, this thick band like area, the round ligaments where that we will not see and we cannot see in uh, without fluid. So this was this is the transfer section and when I moved up now again when I go cordially then this is the urinary bladder this is the fluid this is the urinary bladder and when I go a bit cephalically we see a postmenopausal uterus with round ligaments holding it on both sides and when I go more cephalic I see two structures within the ascitic fluid here from here to anterior or cephalically okay. this is a cephalic angling of the probe here you see the ovary this is the right ovary and this is the left ovary that you are seeing within all of this ascitic fluid now I am going to rotate the probe 90 degrees to see the uterus in transfer section. Now in transfer section again you will see that this is the uterus postmenopausal because there are a lot of densities 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So these are myometrial ecogenicities with this is the endometrium the size is postmenopausal 4.8 into 2.1 centimeters this is the urinary bladder in longitudinal axis and rest all of the black area surrounding the uterus in longitudinal section is the fluid is the ascitic fluid 
So this is how uterus appears in transfer section, uh, in longitudinal section through a cytic film. This is the uterus. So this is a short study of uh, how uterus appears in through ascitic fluid and how we see the ovaries and uh, in longitudinal section in postmenopausal female uterus.